Oh, that's the battery. Big shout out to LastPass for sponsoring this episode. So the goal for today is to fuse an iPhone XS and a Galaxy Note 9 into a single iAndroid device. We'll be bringing the gorgeous bride, the Galaxy Note 9, and a beautiful groom, the iPhone XS, bringing them together in hydraulic press matrimony fusing them into one device today. Without further ado, let's go check out this hydraulic press. That is a lot beefier hydraulic press than I thought we were getting. <laughs> that's pretty big. That's it'll what she said. It'll, it'll, it'll crush just fine. Oh my God, yeah, that's gonna be great. So we got ourselves some safety glasses, which is nice. This thing is insane. It's three times bigger than we thought it was gonna be. We were thinking we were getting to use a 50 ton. This is actually a 150 ton hydraulic press, which is mind-blowingly three times larger. Look at how thick the pieces of steel they have to use to prevent uh, it from bending too. Before we go ahead and fuse these two phones, we gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor for this episode, LastPass. LastPass allows you to save all of your username and account logins in one place, your secure vault, and then you use a 12 character long master password that is super secure on any device, your tablet, your laptop, your smartphone, and you can log into all of your different accounts very, very easily. And you can even use Face ID to authenticate yourself, which is freaking awesome. And it is really secure. With LastPass, your passwords are encrypted locally and stored as a fully encrypted password, which means that they are never stored on a server without being encrypted. And what makes LastPass even better is that you can auto-generate super tough passwords that make it really hard for anyone to hack into your account. One of my other favorite features of LastPass is that you can securely share your passwords to various accounts. So for example, if you need to share an account password to a a friend, you don't have to give them the original password. You can just share the password through LastPass and LastPass sends an encrypted version of your password over to them so that you can share your account with someone without them knowing your real password. Now LastPass has a ton of features both in the free version as well as the premium version that you will probably find super useful. I will personally be using LastPass going forward. I think it's a really cool service and I'd highly recommend for you to go check it out for yourself with the link down below. Thanks again to LastPass for sponsoring this episode. I think this is going to be perfect. You think that's going to work just like that? See how it does with the top plate on it. I think that's looking pretty good. It wouldn't explode. Worst case scenario, they'll smoke a little. I'm pretty sure at least. Like right now, it's like two phones thickness. You know, probably about that thick. If we can get it to be one phone thickness, that's the goal. So we're trying to fuse them together. Okay. I think we're ready. Oh, that's the battery. <laughs> Dang. That was so much. That was so much smoke. That was so much smoke. Oh my god. This is crazy because, like, you see, like, the little pieces of glass cracking, right? Yeah, gl glass just popping out. And, and then, then, oh my god. Right? Just out of nowhere, suddenly. That is insane. Wow. We get live sound effects from what's happening on screen. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that much smoke come out of a phone before. Yeah, like, never once. Normally it's like, it takes a good like 10 minutes for all the smokiness to drain away, but that was just like, all at once. <laughs> Let's go find out if we have uh, a new iAndroid device right here. Dude, we made the world's first iAndroid. The fusion of iPhone. The power of Android. Yeah, the elegance of Apple. The functionality of Samsung. <laughs> All in one device. This phone has a Snapdragon 845, an Adreno 630 GPU, and an A12 Bionic processor from Apple all in one phone. And do you know how many pixels are in this bad boy? People were complaining about iPhones not having, you know, USB-C ports. This iAndroid has a USB-C and a Thunderbolt port. So what happens if we try to unfuse these things? Oh my God. They're so fused together, they won't come apart. Oh my God, literally will not come apart. Dude, look at that infinity display. Normal infinity, infinity plus. You can watch two YouTube videos here and here. That was straight up like an anime level, like fusion. <laughs> oh my god! That was pretty crazy. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I was thinking maybe some smoke, 
Yeah. But that was an insane amount of smoke. Oh my god. This thing was amazing. I can't wait to make more videos with it. Hopefully, maybe they'll just come back here. But... I, I'm excited about this though. This is, yeah, that was a lot more exciting than I was expecting. <laughs> it was great. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon and Darren, out. Peace. Ooh.